Hello and welcome to this short tutorial which will show you how to remove the background from an image. It's very useful sometimes to be able to remove uh, the background from an image like this one here of an iPad mini when you've got a different color screen uh, or canvas or background and the white border around the image would obviously prevent that from appearing. So we're going to use, we're going to, I'm going to show you the simplest method of removing a background which would be using the magic wand tool. There are other ways but this is the quickest and easiest and works very well when you have a background that's really just one colour. So if I click on the magic wand tool here and then I click on the background of the image, what you'll notice is that in this case it, it highlights different areas of my image and what it's doing is it's identifying the area that it thinks is the background so it's drawn a line around the edge of the image now sometimes it might pick up aspects of the image itself and you can adjust how sensitive the magic wand tool is by adjusting the tolerance here so if I drag the tolerance bar up and down you can note you'll see what happens when I do that that gradually it seems to change the areas that are selected so I'm going to just drag the tool so that it gives me just the edge of the iPad mini like that and if I press the delete key it will remove the border now it will look like nothing's happened there but that's because my canvas is white. You need to make sure the canvas for your image is transparent. I'll show you what I mean. If I click the pointer tool, double click on my canvas, change the canvas to transparent, you can see there what I've done. I've deleted part of the image and this area where I've used the magic wand tool on the delete is transparent. So if I go back to my magic wand tool now, and I select the rest of the areas that I want I can get rid of the rest of the image and that's not a bad job now once you've removed the background that's half your job done you need to re-export the image as a new image type what that means is you've probably had a JPEG image with the background in the first place and JPEGs do not support transparency so you need to re-save this image so that the background is gone and that means saving it as a JPEG, sorry, as a GIF or a PNG. I will show you how to do that. You go to File, you go to Export Wizard and then I'm going to click Continue. It gives me an option of, of where the graphics are going from Fireworks. I'm just going to click the web, for Continue it suggests a format, I'm just going to click exit there and at the moment it's set to JPEG so from the top, from the drop down menu here I'm going to change it to GIF and then it gives me an option for the transparency, I'm going to choose index transparency and you can see in fact that that's cut off some of my image colour at the top so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that, I'm actually going to go for a PNG and that's worked a little bit better. Try, you just need to experiment and see what will work. GIF or PNG will work. So I'm going to change that in here as well. Change that to GIF this time, alpha transparency. And there you go. I've now got a, an image of a white iPad, mini iPad, with a transparent border. And if I now click export and then I choose and then rename my file and I'm going to call it iPad mini transparent and I click save that should now be a transparent image so let's just recap the steps first of all you import your image into fireworks you use the magic wand tool to select the areas of the, book, of the background that you want to remove. If necessary, you use the tolerance tool to adjust which areas 
are being selected as the background. You delete the areas you don't want. You then double click the properties, select the properties, double click on your canvas to make sure the canvas is transparent like that. And then you go into File, Export Wizard, and you go through the steps until you've either got a PNG or a GIF. So the thing to do is to practice this technique a couple of times and make sure that you've actually, if you've chosen a GIF, that you've selected the transparency option. So why don't you experiment with an image of your own and try and remove the background. If it doesn't work or if you remove the background but you, you can't export it, rewind the video, watch the second part again that deals with the exporting. So good luck.